Joining us now from Physiologic to share how physiotherapy can aid us all is Gabriel Tan from Physiologic. Good morning, I said that twice already. Good morning, Gabriel. Nice to have you with us. Good morning, Mel. I am very familiar with physiotherapy because I'm always injuring myself, doing something, <laughs> so I know the benefits. Uh, obviously, people know that physio can help with sports injuries and recovery, but what other situations would actually benefit from a physio as well? Yeah, so a lot of people think that in order to see a physiotherapist, you have to be quite debilitated or quite injured. Mm. The things that we see everyone from pre-injury to just after a small injury all the way to sort of like big injuries like car accidents or surgery so um, we look after a wide range of people all the way from young as kids all the way to as old as older adults um, so up, other than sports injuries as well we also look at um, neurological disorders that people might have or respiratory for chest clearances and things like that so physiotherapy is quite why in the spectrum of things. It's quite broad. So what sort of underlying issues are we talking about? So a lot of times, um, a lot of times we hear of someone, for example, with a lower back injury and they've hurt themselves two or three times before in the same lower back and the good old Kiwi attitude of she'll be she'll all be right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, people don't tend to get them sorted. So by the time they come to see physiotherapy, they're actually quite far along, quite bad. So um, sometimes if we can address the issues early on, they don't tend to have other issues. Um, sometimes with a lower back injury, they, they can actually be compensating. The body compensates pretty well and therefore um, overstresses some other part, like their shoulder, and then they have a shoulder issue as well. So we find that people get really, really tight all over the body uh, when if they addressed it early on enough they won't actually have that much That is problems. so true, isn't it? You know that you know that the whole knee bone's connected to the whatever bone and it all goes up because you, you do really realise that. If something hurts and you start compensating the other way. Yeah. Um, also, I guess bad posture at your desk would have something to do with it as well? Yeah, so a lot of times if we do, let's say, have a sore lower back, we tend to sit funny because we're tighter on our left side versus our right side. So your posture just gets skewed off and in order for your body to maintain alignment, your shoulder or neck can actually go to the opposite side and then you get a lot of tightness on the... Like adjacent opposite side. So basically you're just wonky the whole way through. <laughs> uh, so how can physio help then? So physiotherapy uh, can introduce a whole wide array. Obviously we want to sort out what the issue is, um, like underlying, underlying factors. Um, the example I like to give people is that if there's a flooded kitchen floor sometimes, uh, we have to fix the leaky tap that's causing the flooded kitchen floor. There's no point constantly mopping up the floor. You'll be mopping all day long. So we do a bit of like investigative work to try and find out why they're getting the sore, let's say lower back. If, the sore lower back comes from something that's tight, we want to free it up. If it's something that's a little bit weak, we want to sort that out. And if it's, let's say, coming from an ankle injury they did back when they were 12, we also need to address those things. So obviously we want to find out why they're getting the problem and then working towards fixing that. So what sort of treatments? It's not just massage, is that? Although massage is very nice. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's not nice, though, because sometimes it's a bit too therapeutic and it actually hurts, but it's good for you, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, I think a lot of people think we just massage alone, but we do a lot of different kind of modalities from sort of joint mobilizations to exercises, so even as much as acupuncture and dry needling, so there's lots of different ways we can help solve the issue and obviously we want to pick the best thing for the issue that's currently that we're addressing. And I know that sometimes you say do exercises at home, sort of rehab exercises, how important is it to do those when you tell us to do something? Yeah, so I think statistically, don't quote me on this, but four out of five people don't actually follow the exercise yeah, plan. Yeah, that'd be right, that'd be about right, I reckon. <laughs> and so the thing is that we want to make sure that people know what exercise they are doing. So um, with, with what we give them, I try not to give them too many because when people do too many exercises, they tend to forget. So we want to give them, let's say, a stretch to fix tightness A or an exercise to fix the weakness that they have somewhere else. So if they know specifically why they're doing the exercise, they're much more likely to do it. And we can definitely see when someone does the exercise that 20% or one out of five that do it, uh, they tend to get better so much faster. And then the four out of five, they go, oh, you know, it's dragging on. And we mm. kind of remind them why they need to do the exercise and then they just speed up with the healing. Because sometimes it does seem like you're just doing these little things, but they obviously all have a great impact. Uh, do I need a referral from the doctor or can people come straight to see you? No, so you can actually walk straight up the street to see any physiotherapist you like in New Zealand. Um, you don't actually need a referral uh, to come see us. We've obviously got ACC in New Zealand which covers for a lot of injuries and uh, us as physiotherapists we actually entitled to open up the claims for you so if you need days off work or medication then doctors uh, or GPs is kind of where you go but otherwise you can come straight to us. Excellent that is really good to know hey it's mm. been a pleasure having you in I could talk to you for ages about my many ailments but I keep injuring myself thinking I'm really good at sport and I'm not I uh, thank you so much uh, really interesting and if you would like to know more or look at treatment options head along to the physiologic team who are across Auckland just go to their website for details physiologic.com. Code of